My name is Will Pachman. As chair of UNM Biology, I'd like to welcome you to our second and hopefully last pandemic style graduation video. In most years on the second Saturday in May, as you pull into campus from Central, you would see hundreds of family members gathering here on Yale Mall to celebrate the graduation of over 200 undergraduates and 20 or more graduate students. This gathering shows better than any set of statistics that the students in biology reflect the diversity of our state. Students from Albuquerque to our smallest towns, first generation students, veterans, parents, non-traditional students returning to school, all seeking knowledge of biology as a step toward their goals. So this year, like every year, we honor our graduates and celebrate their different paths and interests. A university degree is always hard work. The students who are enrolled now and those graduating this spring have pursued and completed their degrees while facing extraordinary challenges. We've seen your struggles with internet access, with too many Zoom meetings, heard you when you or your family were sick or just worried about it, and all the other disruptions that have been part of this pandemic. Congratulations on navigating these challenges to reach this point. As we hand out congratulations, however, our graduates are quick to point out that their support networks of friends and family are really the most important people who attend our usual graduation. Their love, support, and sacrifice, and that of many who could not be present for graduation, is in each of our graduates. Seeing that gratitude in the crowd simply can't be captured in a video like this. In May 2020, we made our first graduation video and hoped it would be our last. Despite our best intentions, we weren't able to gather six to 800 people together in suitable fashion. As I was preparing for my part of this year's video, I visited Castetter Room 100, one of our prime classrooms where every graduate has spent many hours. I realized just how extraordinary this year has been when I saw the word congratulations written on the board by me about 365 days ago in May 2020. The board has not been used or erased in over a year. It wasn't always pretty, it wasn't always fun, and our community has been impacted in so many ways, but the word has aged well. As we celebrate our graduates, let me be the first to offer my congratulations. You've earned it. Hello, Yat A 2021 graduates. You are celebrating a tremendous accomplishment today and I'm so happy to be a part of it. There aren't many people who can say that they accomplished or completed their degrees during a pandemic, quarantining and social distancing for the last school year. So kudos to you all. Before I get started, I'd like to acknowledge the indigenous tribes and ancestors whose land the University of New Mexico sits upon, the traditional homelands of the Pueblo of Sandia, as well as the original peoples of New Mexico, the Pueblo, Navajo, and Apache tribes. I'm Dr. Katrina Law. I grew up on the Arizona side of the Navajo Nation in a small community called Many Farms. Yat e she Katrina Tla Yanishia, Tuahana Nishli go deshitni Bashishin, Twitchini Dashate, Bitani Dashanala. I'm an assistant professor at the University of Colorado. When I was asked to talk today, I honestly had no idea what to say. And so I thought about all of the past graduations that I'd been a part of and what really resonated with me then. Funny, this also happens to be 20 years since I graduated high school. So you can do the math. 
I've sat through five, four actually big graduations in my life, two for junior high and high school, another when I received my bachelor's of science degree in biology from Arizona State University, woohoo. And also lastly, getting my PhD in genome sciences from the University of Washington. So what really resonated with me from the speakers during commencement then? I have no idea. <laughs> I wasn't listening to any of the people speaking. And to this day, I can't say that I remember um, what anyone said. But I wasn't just spacing out I during commencement. I was actually looking for my family in the crowd. So back in high school and even undergrad, I didn't have a cell phone. And so I had to scan the crowd to really spot my family members. I was looking for my mom, my dad, my sister, my brothers, my vast extended family and friends. I searched the crowd for all of these people who were so important to me, who had come out that day to celebrate me and my accomplishments and who had been a part of my educational journey as well. I'll always remember what my dad said to me when I received my doctorate degree. He said, when they call your name to walk across the stage, you carry your family with you. So, just because today's biology graduation is virtual doesn't mean we have to forget those amazing people who are with you on your journey as well. So let's take a few moments for you amazing graduates to locate your loved ones in your mind, in your heart, to thank them. And if you're watching with your family right now, just give them a high five. Really, all of these people are just as much on the journey as you are. And they are so very happy and proud of you. I'll give you a few seconds to do that. So wasn't that nice? Well, because of this 20 year reunion thing I have on my mind, I've been thinking a lot about how I've changed, what I've done and the challenges and happy moments over the past 20 years. Back in high school, I had a teacher who asked us to imagine our lives at 30 years old and to write it down. That seemed like a long way off when I did that activity, but I found that piece of paper recently. And even though I'm a bit older than 30 now, I've completed most of the goals I had written down. Two of the biggest goals I accomplished were getting my PhD and traveling the world. So I received my PhD in 2013, shown in the background here, at the University of Washington. And right after I received my PhD, I traveled for eight months by myself through 13 countries throughout Asia, the South Pacific, and South America. So this is actually me at Machu Picchu a couple of years ago. If you had asked me 20 years ago when I graduated high school, or even 15 years ago when I graduated with my bachelor's degree, what I would be doing today, I would have given you a variety of answers. But I can assure you that none of them would be what I'm doing right now. I would have said I was going to be an engineer because that's what my brother was into. Or I would have said I was going to be a medical doctor because that's what my parents thought I should do. Um, but today I'm coming to you from Denver, Colorado, where I'm an assistant professor in the Division of Biomedical Informatics and Personalized Medicine. My research program focuses on understanding human genetic variation across human populations, and my hope is to use both genetic information and biomarkers to tailor medical treatments for personalized medicine. Specifically, I study pharmacogenomics. So these, this is uh, the study of genes involved in metabolizing drugs and different medications. The other part of my work is also studying the ethical, legal, and social implications, or LC, of genomic research with Native American communities, with other indigenous communities throughout the world, and thinking about how underrepresented um, individuals um, uh, are involved in genomic research. So totally different than what I would have ever imagined what I'm doing, what I would be doing, but it's such a wonderful and uh, wonderful job that I have now. So 
with that story, my advice is to really just calm down. You don't have to have things figured out right now. Life is constantly changing and moving, and it takes time and patience to figure out what you love, what you do, what you want to do with your life. It's important to be, in pas to be passionate about what you do, though. Without that drive or love or passion, whatever you call it, it's that much harder to study late at night or to work weekends or to find happiness in what you do. So I hope that you've taken time during these past few years to explore who you are and learn about things that interest you. And now that you've finished with your degrees, write down goals for the next few years. What are you going to do? Keep them in mind, whatever you do. So I remember telling my English teacher one day that I wanted to just be content. And I remember her response really well. She said, well, wouldn't that be boring? <laughs> so I'll, I'll, I'll always remember her words when I start to become too content or too complacent with my life. There's a bell in my head that goes off that tells me to shake things up a bit. And we definitely need ground shakers and strong leaders these days, qualities that I see in all of you graduating today. So my advice in a few sentences, try new things, challenge yourself, Continue learning and bring positive change in the world. We need that. Give back when you can. There are plenty of uh, younger siblings, younger students who need your help. Know what you can do can impact someone else's life. So maybe it's your research or your, um, your job that gives back to someone's life. And be kind to yourself. Take breaks. Give yourself a pat on the back. Celebrate yourself. Don't fear the unknown. Be brave and have courage and courage of conviction. Um, and all of these are especially um, important in the last year. It's been super hard for everyone, but kudos to you all for sticking it out and graduating today. Um, so with that, congratulations, class of 2021. Woohoo! And thank you so much for listening today. And I wish you the best of luck. Members of our biology faculty have created their own personal shout out videos for our 2021 biology graduates. We'd like to share these with you now and I'll start. This was a brutal pandemic year and we're so proud of you for your resilience, endurance, and perseverance. Here's a shout out to all of you who finished your degree juggling work and family. Congratulations to all of you. And finally, a special shout out to Brian Alfaro, who successfully defended his dissertation on the population ecology of an invasive plant over Zoom. Congratulations. We would like to say congratulations, class of 2021. We are so very proud of you. I would also like to extend my sincere gratitude to all of my Biology 1140 learning assistants those who are graduating this year and those who are continuing to pursue their degrees. We wish you all the very best in your journey forward. Excellent job! Congratulations to all the students who are earning their bachelor's degree in biology this year. It's an amazing accomplishment that you can be super proud of. I want to especially acknowledge the students who took the COVID version of Principles of Ecology this year. Thanks for taking the class. And I want to especially shout out to three people earning graduate degrees. Bo Meng, who spent his entire study abroad here in lockdown in New Mexico. To uh, Brooke Wainwright, the kingpin of the toothpick, who is earning her master's degree. And to Alicia Hallmark, who coded up her PhD dissertation. Congratulations to everyone. So a special shout out and hearty congratulations to the UNM Biology class of 2021. Here's wishing you the best as you launch out of here into new endeavors using the tools that you picked up along the way uh, here at, in, uh, at UNM. And especially like to recognize the students that were in my class, classes mammalogy and tropical biology and 
conservation, biology, uh, students from Aragon all the way to Zellner. Uh, congratulations to each of you. Please stay in touch. Let us know how you're doing. We'd really like to follow up. And then a final shout out to a PhD student finishing up in our lab from Ecuador, Carlos Carrion Bonilla, who after six years is receiving his PhD and going to go on to do great things in biodiversity studies in Ecuador. Best of luck to all of you. Stay in touch. Bye. Congratulations to all of you. It's a huge accomplishment, even though I know that, you know, this year was really tough, um, but you made it through. You're incredibly resilient. Um, and a special congratulations to all of you that I had the privilege of teaching in one or more classes. Um, and then an extra special shout out to Liliana Vega, who I had the um, pleasure of working with as a peer learning facilitator for AMP2 this past semester. It was really great working with you. Congratulations, class of 2021. We are really, really proud of you and uh, very happy that you endured and persevered and uh, all of your efforts took you here. Um, we definitely missed seeing you in class and it was also hard for us professors not to, to have those interactions, um, but thank you for all of the times. Even teaching online was a pleasure. Um, I wish you all the best. Hello, biology class of 2021. Congratulations on making it through another year of COVID. Um, I wanna give a special uh, shout out to uh, students in general vertebrate zoology. Our undergraduate students, uh, Quentin Valencia, uh, Raven Zellers and Jesse Whittem. Congratulations to you all. Best of luck for your future. And also to two graduate students, uh, Brian Alfaro who finished his PhD this year and Alicia Hallmark, who also finished her PhD this year. Congratulations. Congratulations to our 2021 biology graduates. I hope you are feeling very good and proud of yourself for one, finishing a difficult degree, one that requires a lot of work and time, and two, for finishing strong in a time where conditions were not ideal and where you had to really dig deep inside of yourself to complete the work and to give it all that you had. I want you guys to know that all of your hard work and your dedication and motivation was also inspiring to us during this past year, and we're incredibly proud of you. So here's to your future. Good luck. And again, congratulations. Congratulations, graduates, and special thanks to those of you who made contributions to the collections at the Museum of Southwestern Biology during your time here. Katrina Dayrig, Carlos Carrion, Danny Wiley, thank you, and don't forget about us. Dear grads, congratulations. It seems like resilience is the word of the year, I think, this time, because you have persisted through a, a perturbation and adjusted to that and really achieve something substantial. And I think we really don't take enough time to think about and, and recognize when we accomplish something uh, that's really good. We tend to just think about the, the bad things and things we didn't get done. So I really want you to, to take this time, uh, think about this graduation. It's a celebration, it's a recognition of your success. So, you know, be proud of what you have done be motivated by what you have yet to achieve, and be humble when you're recognized because we don't always get it. Congratulations, all the biology grads. Hello, graduates. In Dutch, my first language, goed gedaan, Yuchi, or very well done. After meeting many of you first in the core classes, 201, it's been inspiring to follow your academic development, also in my courses, molecular biology and invertebrate immunology. Congratulations to your parents, to your family and friends. They should be proud of you and of themselves for supporting you in your efforts. Now, go on and apply your degree to benefit our community and planet. But first, enjoy your stay. So, felicitations, congratulations. Hey, biology, Lisa Barrow here. I want to warmly congratulate all the graduates this year. This is not the send off anyone wanted to give but I wanna emphasize how amazing it is that you've persevered to get to this point. I especially wanna give a shout out to Danny Wiley, 
I could not be more proud of all you've accomplished. You've been an excellent colleague and collaborator on our research these last few years, and I am so excited to see what you do next. I hope you get a well-deserved break, and I look forward to finishing more research projects together. Congratulations. Hey, biology grads. I just wanna congratulate you on the remarkable accomplishment of finishing your degrees during a global pandemic. Graduating from university is a big accomplishment in and of itself, but what you've faced in the last year uh, has presented additional challenges. You should be proud of your accomplishments, and I wish you the best of luck as you pursue your future endeavors. Uh, what is that? It's all twisty and turning. It feels just so disoriented. And, oh, coming, is that a light there? Oh yes, wait, I think I see it. The light at the end of the tunnel. There you guys are. You've done it. You've broken out. And now, just like this, bud, you're ready to bloom. The 2021 recipient of the Outstanding Undergraduate Award in Biology is Stephanie Olivas. Professor David Hansen will describe some of her accomplishments this year and present the award to her live at a Zoom lab meeting. Hi, everybody. If you haven't had me in classes, I'm David Hansen. I'm a plant physiologist in the department. And it's my honor today to present the outstanding undergraduate uh, for 2021 from the biology department. The outstanding uh, undergraduate award really is something that needs to go just beyond good grades and uh, working and doing some stuff in, in, in a lab uh, because we have so many students in our department who uh, do well, succeed, and do uh, wonderful things. It's always a tough sort of choice. And so we keep you know, looking for uh, those extra uh, things that build on and show uh, real uh, potential and real achievement. This year's uh, winner um, has done more than just uh, get her work done in biology. Uh, she's also gotten a degree, getting a degree in uh, Chicana studies. And she's been very active in the community. Uh, and her interest in uh, social justice has led to her being invited uh, to the UN to present uh, with the Women's International League of Peace and Freedom to talk about food justice and other uh, issues. Unfortunately, she didn't get a go because of COVID-19, but I hope she'll get that opportunity again in the near future. Uh, she also uh, strove in a range of different ways, working in community projects and community gardens and taking recently uh, a new uh, step stepping up to do the leadership for uh, something she never thought she could do, uh, competing, leading a team competing in the NASA Minds Challenge, which was related to the Artemis program. Uh, this uh, program uh, is ca coming up with ideas for things uh, that'll help travel uh, and to make a station on the moon and then to use that information to eventually take humans to Mars. Way out of um, the wheelhouse of uh, backyard uh, community uh, gardening and other uh, soil research that she had done. But she stepped up to do it and she partnered up with architects and engineers and computer scientists and really led a team uh, forward through this, working over Zoom, you know, not being able to, to see people in, in person and still meeting this, uh, all the goals of this challenge. And, uh, and then presenting this to judges and in the end, winning uh, our, the national title for the senior undergraduates. The, the team was uh, really excited about this and it was a real great honor. And that was just one example of uh, the kinds of things sh um, that she's achieved. And to me, my most uh, valuable thing that she's done is she's really helped me to change some of the things I focus to look on. You know, I've been motivated over the last couple of years with the different events uh, to really try to do more. Uh, and her expertise in social justice, justice issues and community outreach has really been an inspiration to me and is actually changing the way that I do things uh, in my lab. 
So without further ado, uh, if you don't know who this is, uh, the winner is Stephanie Olivas. So congratulations, Stephanie. I'm delighted to know that you are going to continue graduate to go to graduate school here at UNM, and I look forward to working with you for years to come. Yeah, I know it's the end of the end of the semester, and I want and uh, and I know um, uh, Stephanie is going to be taking the summer off, which is good, and then and then be back for um, graduate school. Um, so I wanted to be sure we had a chance to see her off before she comes back. But uh, <laughs> but more uh, <laughs> more importantly than that, um, uh, you know, we were we've been talking about the uh, other successes and and great things that she's managed to get done uh, get done here, um, and that um, uh, that led me to uh, recommend uh, Stephanie for the uh, outstanding undergraduate for the biology department for the year, and uh, and she won. <laughs> oh, uh, good no job. Way. So, good job, Stephanie. So, surprise, congratulations. Oh, you all have been so good to me. Thank you. We now present to you the recipients of the Doctor of Philosophy degree in biology. present to you the recipients of the Master of Science degree in Biology.
Master of Science. My research is focused on lung cancer and is dedicated to my grandfather who passed away from stage 4 lung cancer. I am eternally grateful to my husband and my family for their love and support, and I thank my advisors, Steve, Chris, and Helen for their guidance and dedication to my success. I will start my PhD program this fall at Indiana University in their Cell, Molecular, and Cancer Biology program. We now present to you the undergraduates who received honors for research in biology.
We now present to you the recipients of the Bachelor of Science degree in Biology. now present to you the recipients of the Bachelor of Arts degree in biology.